What started off as a stupid motion trick turned into a full-fledged project about a subject I know very little about, but I ended up doing a lot of research on, and so hopefully I've developed a tool that will allow you all to create 3D from 2D video with the red cyan glasses, so Anaglyph 3D. I called it Anaglypher because I like imagination and you can tell by the version number I had to go through a lot of different kinds of ideas before I came up with this. So basically what you have is a standard way of creating the depth perception effect and then a lot of different things to kind of mitigate some of the problems that you get when you're looking at an image through red and cyan glasses because one of the problems that drives me kind of nuts is the ghosting that occurs. So I've got a lot of these things down here, starting from gamma, saturation, brightness, contrast, all of this to the bottom. This is all set up to help you reduce a ghosting effect. There are two different ways to approach 3D in this. The standard way is just to apply a depth. And I'm going to go ahead and add a different version on this so we can start now I want you to look at this without your glasses for a few minutes okay just if you put on your glasses take them off because you have gotta see what's happening for the depth control the depth control is going to slide one layer in one direction to the right the cyan layer layer is going to go to the right and the red layer is going to go to the left and at zero they are perfectly lined up you have a typical uh, actually there's even still a little depth at zero when you're looking at this through the glasses not much I mean it's I think it's just cuz the red and the cyan make everything kind of pop anyway so we have depth this angle of view and the camera Z affect the camera or the viewpoint of how you're looking at this particular scene and the next two controls control having one layer rotate in one direction and one layer rotate in another direction in the opposite direction so that if I do this and crank up the angle of view I'm going to run the camera Z out so you can see what's happening. I'm rotating the red layer across a, a center axis which you can control with the horizontal center here. Okay, so you can create different perspectives into this scene by manipulating the layers and with almost every effect I create I say and you can keyframe these so you can follow a point of interest if you have a point of interest you can keyframe them to kind of follow that so that as people look at it you can get a different effect you'll just have to experiment with it I can't explain it I had the same thing for I called it horizon but what it's gonna do is tilt okay it's gonna tilt the red layer through the cyan layer and that also can emphasize a certain kind of perceptual distortion a little bit well like I said you have to experiment and we'll take a look at one in a minute when I ask you to put your glasses on so you can see what's going on I'm gonna reset that and I'm going to reset the horizon and I have a base offset angle which works in conjunction with the parallax up here so if I parallax this in this direction I can turn the base out in that direction and that creates even a more intense artificial 3D kind of thing and it's really convincing so the gamma control is going to change the intensities of the red layer and the cyan layer equally so that when you're looking through your glasses everything's kind of a little darker you can use these controls down here like I said to balance the image to kind of minimize ghosting and some of these things 
ghosting is always going to be there, but you can get it down to where it's not going to be as noticeable. And in particular, my best advice is to go all the way down to the red brightness adjustment and cyan brightness adjustment and trim the cyan down a little bit like that. You need to have your glasses on when you do this and realize that not everybody's glasses are going to be the same darkness or intensity of effect due to variances in manufacturing and stuff like that. So you've just got to realize somebody somewhere is going to see ghosts. So let me turn this one off. Put your glasses on. Got to put mine on. And I had this one I did earlier. And turn that on. A little leeway here not much but as I pan out you can see I've got a little horizon on this there's a tilt the red is shifted to the right it's kind of uncomfortable to look at this with seeing the edges so I'm going to run the camera I can compress this a little bit by changing the angle view of the camera which will make this a lot more normal looking as I pull it in. So this is what the, the angle of view does. It's like the lens of a camera. As you go wide you get a barrel distortion and as you go tight it's more of a compression of the angles of the layers so that they look flatter. Okay, So flatter, out of control. So basically I just have to leave this to you all. You got the basics down here. You have to experiment some with it. Some images, some clips are going to look a lot better with this and others are just going to crap out. Not that much you can do with it, uh, especially highly compressed footage. You'll start seeing blocking when you get into the uh, adjustments here with brightness, contrast, and all of these. But it really is pretty cool. And so I hope you have fun with this and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.